Well, in pediatric cardiology, one of the things that you have to do is take the problem with somebody's heart, which you don't really know what it is, and uh, take the signs they might be exhibiting or the way that their heart works based on what you see is wrong with them, and then sort of fill in the blanks of what's actually wrong with their heart. And when they're babies, I think their relationship is with the parents, and often those are deep relationships because we get to know the family during a time of, of crisis often, sometimes even prenatally or when a baby is first born or very young and identified as having something sort of life-changing. And then to be able to continue with those families and see the babies grow, I think it develops a big sense of trust between the patient and the doctor. Obviously that changes as the children grow or for those patients who um, first come to us when they're teenagers or late school age, then it's sort of a joint relationship between the doctor, the patient who's a child, and the um, parent. But it is rewarding to see children grow up and see how they do to get people to um, spontaneously bring you one of their school photos or something like that. At my heart, I'm a teacher, and so I like to be able to teach people um, what's wrong with them or what's not wrong with them and be able to explain it in words that people understand. I think having your own children makes you more empathic and able to understand more what families may be going through to be able to see it from both sides of the um, chair, not only as a physician, but as a parent and try to um, put yourself into the place of a family either getting bad news or trying to understand a complicated situation. And so once I had children of my own, I feel that it just enriched my ability to be a doctor, especially a pediatrician.